Hey, everybody, this is Greg Ryder, and I wanted to say thank you for joining us on the call tonight and uh, sending out the email inviting you on this call. I'm super excited about this because uh, this is kind of a rare occasion for me to host a call like this with an amazing individual who has a company called Energetic Solutions. So you got to just love that in itself, right, talking about uh, high energy. And, and everyone who knows me knows I'm a very high energy guy. And so I was fortunate to have met Siobhan. I want to say it's been a couple of years now. And we met at an event. We started talking. And I ended up hiring her to coach me. And I said in my email to you that I've never hired a coach before. And the reason why, and I don't mean to say this boastfully, but every time I've hired a coach in the past, and I've tried to, everybody from Tony Robbins to these different people, is that they're always tactical and strategic from a business perspective in that marketing and websites and, you know, how to do things. And every time I get into a coaching situation with somebody like that, inevitably, I've had this happen to me like five times, they would say, you know more than me, I can't help you. Because I'm very well read, I'm very, I'm a doer, I'm an action taker, and I get things done. But when I met Siobhan, she talked to me about getting inside of, of a different, I don't know, dimension or something with my energy and helping with some energy blocks and some mindset stuff. And she had me do some exercises that brought some things to me, to forefront to me, that super helped me. They were amazing. Uh, they kind of go back literally to my childhood. And I'm not even sure what Siobhan's going to go overnight because I've never sat through one of her things. I've only sat through dozens of coaching sessions where she worked with me one-on-one. -on -one. So I just want to say you guys are in for a store, some amazing content, some amazing revelations that's going to help you. And I want to say, one, both of us respect your time. We thank you so much for your time. We know it's valuable. And our goal at this is to provide value. And that's why I said, Siobhan, will you do this call? Can I email my database and all the people that subscribe to my newsletter? She said yes. And so with that being said, let me give a little bit of the technical stuff about Siobhan. Not technical, but she has helped over 15,000 entrepreneurs. And she really focuses on working with CEOs and helping CEOs, everything from the hiring process to the mindset, all kinds of great stuff relating to our energy and us attracting and bringing into the, to our businesses what we need, what we want, and then giving me the insights to CEOs on who not to hire. And we've had some amazing conversations about that kind of stuff. And she just is a different person when it comes to that kind of stuff. And, and, and she has these conversations and worked with CEOs for, uh, I don't know how many years, but for a long time. She's got tons of experience. As well as she's a keynote speaker, she's constantly speaking on stage, sharing her wisdom, sharing her passion with CEOs, entrepreneurs, and people all over the country uh, on a regular basis. And she's got an event coming up that I'm excited that we're going to be sponsoring and attending and inviting all of our friends to. So with that being said, Siobhan, I want to hand it over to you, and I just want to say thank you so much for taking your valuable time to share some wisdom and some insights with the people on my list. Wow, thank you. I'm <laughs> I'm honored. My heart's overflowing. Thank you, Greg. I appreciate you. And thank you everybody for being here. Um so as Greg said, I I'm a little different in what I do and how I think and how I get you to think. So I kind of have to give you a little bit of preparation ahead of time in order to shift the way you have you you have been uh, on these types of calls or getting information before. And I am a storyteller. I tell and teach through story. And I also tell and teach through um, different tools that are very simple to get you a result. Um, so I'm going to tell you a little bit more about who I am and why I do this so you can get a framework of who the heck is this woman and why is Greg saying all these amazing things, things about her, which I'm honored and um, effectively, I started out being really – my first business was at 11, and so I was really entrepreneurial from the beginning. And then I got into computer programming, very left-brain stuff, very linear, very, very specific to, you know, ones and zeros, really loved that field. Um, and I'm skipping over a bunch of things, but a couple of the highlights, Next would be I went into marketing and sales because 
I wasn't very good at being out there in the public. And I felt that the best way to really get to know myself was to get into marketing and sales. So I jumped into that, and I actually helped um, several companies meet uh, the hundred, couple hundred million dollar mark and get sold. So what I discovered is that I'm really good at taking all of the bits and pieces, all of the nuances of a small fledgling organization somebody who is in the trenches to whatever their end objective is. And I've done that for many, many people throughout my career. I've been doing uh, business work in strategies and tactics and having my own companies for, you know, more than 20 years. But as Greg said, I focus on the subtleties. And I say that um, your whole world, and science proves this, thankfully, now recently, um, that your whole world, 99% of your world, is actually unseen. And we actually operate from the 1% mark. So if we were to focus on the 99%, then we have an opportunity to achieve greater things, even if we spend just a small amount of time in that 99%. And that's where I teach and come from because that's where the most amazing results happen in extraordinary amounts of time. So a little bit more about who I am and why I do this. Um, I was working for a nutraceutical company, loved what I did. I was so excited about what I did. I was having so many successes, traveling all over the country, and, and I was in charge of the sales and marketing. And I loved it so much that I didn't pay attention to my body and ended up tearing my inside. And uh, if you know anything about that, that's actually pretty dangerous. And I walked around in pain for a long time, and people who are doers and achievers tend to have a higher threshold of pain, if anybody out there knows what I'm talking about. And we tend to just work through it. Well, the body will only take so much. And at one point in time, I ended up in the emergency room, and they said, we have to inject you with these drugs. Happened to be in the drug business, but I didn't believe in drugs. So I said, okay, this time you can. I'm going home and I'm going to heal myself. Now, I want you to understand the framework. I actually didn't know what that meant. I just knew that the body does its job somehow on its own. And I've helped companies get built. So there had to be something that I was doing in the companies that I could translate into my body. So a few months later, I healed myself, and what I started to discover was that there is a process and a formula for success that many of us tap into every once in a while, but if we were to tap into it in our body, our brain, our life, and our business, then we would actually have a whole successful or a more whole successful organism. So I started using these tools and techniques in uh, the companies that I was helping, and I started using it with my sales team and in sales meetings and in uh, transactions, and we were closing uh, 10, 30, $22 million deals. We were ch closing bigger and bigger deals, but we because we got into this thing I call the midline, which means things just lined up. And what I discovered is that I was so motivated to help my body stay healthy and in the curiosity of how to do that and to take that into the business world that there was a symbiosis between the two. And when you start playing with a healthy body and a healthy brain, then you actually start taking that into the business. And, and, and usually we have to sacrifice, we've been taught, that we have to sacrifice from one or the other, and that's not true. So fast forward a little bit. Um, a lot of people started coming to me to ask me to solve their problems, health problems and challenges that were going on in their lives, and I started teaching it. I was the first person to teach these things at a college. I was the first person to um, take the uh, concept of meditation and stress reduction to major corporations over 20 years ago. Um, I was one of the first people to uh, teach uh, energy medicine at uh, 
at UCI, and it goes on. And so UCI is University of California, Irvine. And what kept occurring is every time I would teach people how this subtle stuff worked, is they would tell me that, oh, transactions that weren't working for them, that couldn't happen for them, that had been stuck or in limbo, were all of a sudden starting to close and work out, and the employee turnover was changing, and the relationships were getting better, et cetera, et cetera. And I thought, okay. As a business person, I thought, well, there must be something to this. So I started to take that into more of a formulaic approach and realized that I can share this in a way that is whole, bringing both the the internal side, the subtle stuff, and the business stuff together. So basically, we're taking consciousness, and whatever your term for consciousness is, it's completely yours, it's not mine, um, uh, consciousness and business together so they go hand in hand, and you really have a whole organism. And so when I, when Greg asked me to do this, I thought, what can I give to you? And, and here's the rule of energy and the rule of exchange. Different from other teleseminars or other of these calls, I do everything I can to give as much as I can in the time that we have. So I'm going to fill you with a whole bunch of information. I'm going to make sure you have an invitation um, to the event. I'm going to take you through some processes, so make sure you stay uh, all the way to the end because I always give, like, five processes. And these are processes that you can learn and use today. Everything I do is so that you can take these out into the real world and get real results now, right now, um, because I have so many other tools to offer that, these are the best of the best, and if I can get these out to you, that means your life is going to get better, and you're going to see value in uh, taking the next step of understanding how subtleties work everywhere in your world. So strategies and, strategies and tactics are awesome. Love them. As Greg said, they're totally awesome. But no strategy and tactic will work if you don't have the right flow or you don't have the right mindset or you're actually not positioned in that midline so that it can flow and you'll keep bumping up against um, things that are hurdles or keep bumping up against a similar uh, income stream. You'll keep getting close to the result and then something will happen and you'll get back on track to what I call poopy bill. You'll end up down in that uh, hole. So one of the first things I want to tell you about and teach you is there's this thing that we have been taught when we have a weird or upside down way of thinking. You know, your mom has told you this, parents have told you this, bosses, you know, employees, whatever. Think differently. Just think differently. Well, the mind actually doesn't work that way. It won't think differently because it's in, as you've heard in some of these languages, it's actually in a group. But here's this really other cool thing. There is a thread or a connection that gets sent out into the world with every single thought that you have. Again, whether you believe me or not, it's just a fact, and I'm going to teach you how to get out of it. And when you use these steps and you use our I Am Success Now process, that, and we teach these in our events, then what you end up is, and what you end up with is an immediate result. So here's what I'm going to invite you to do so that you're available and you're receptive to this information and you're going to use this stuff today. If you're not driving, I hope some of you aren't and some of you are, if you're not driving and you're listening and you're sitting in a chair or you're sitting on a sofa, I need you to kind of sit up straight with your spine straight. And there's a reason for this because as soon as you connect the top of the head to the base of the spine, you actually have a closer connection to the brain energy and the flow in the spine. So every time you're sitting up straight, you actually have a greater opportunity to succeed at what you're creating as far as your intention or your desired outcome. So when people come to our events, you know, we have people sit up straight, you know, for a couple days, and it really, really shifts things. It really shifts the energy, 
and it shifts the mind. It actually is like um, if your computer is in sleep mode, it's actually like taking your computer off sleep mode. So when you sit up straight, your brain gets more online and out of the sleep mode, and it actually starts to move forward and, we use Sheryl Sandberg's word, words, lean in, lean into a solution rather than if you are slouching and actually falls back into a problem. I know it sounds ridiculously simple. However, your mom was right, sit up straight, because what she didn't know is that the energy flows from the brain throughout the body to create more positive solutions so that you can get out of whatever challenge you're having whatever challenge you have to have. So whatever your challenge is, if it's financial, if it's mental, if it's relational, it is all energetic based. It's all subtle based because if you are, uh, if you've ever read Genesis, um, I've read all of the, the ancient stories and ancient histories. And one of the first things that they say is in the beginning there was light. Well, light is energy. So energetics actually come first, and energetics of our brain actually create brain waves out in to what is considered, I consider, our container. And when we do, when we teach these at the I Am Success event, we create a container as to your ultimate success. So let's use a couple of examples. Um, I'll use my in the beginning, my container was filled with, I have to do all of these things, work harder in order to achieve the objective at the expense of my body. So that's what many of us have been taught because we came through the industrial age. However, the container only can hold so much water. The body can only hold that kind of energy for so long. Now, if you learn how to expand the container and you get out of the strategies and tactics, all of the amazing strategies and tactics you've been learning actually become more effective as you expand your container. Hmm. Okay, that's a little odd. So I'm going to say you have a two-seater car and then you buy a four-seater car. Let's use that as an example, right? So your four-seater car, you feel more expansive. You feel like you can fill it up with stuff. Think of that as your container, all right? So now that you're sitting up straight and you have a more wide and wise concept of a container, that container gets filled with everything that has come from your past as the way you think, you be, you do, and who you interact with. So that four-seater car filled with all of that space has the con contents of it that you've created. Now, here's the really interesting thing. If you were never to clean out your car and try to drive in your car like that on a regular basis, eventually the car would start having problems. It would smell. You'd, you'd be in what I call poopyville, right? So there's no way to just stop thinking about something or just snap out of it or really think differently, or just, you know, say a really positive, happy mantra, or beg for a new solution. All of these things are not going to change the contents of what you have in the car. But one thing will, and one of those things that, can, that changes that is that car that's with all of those poopy thoughts, poopy bill, actually have those connections that I was talking about that go from your brain. Let me take a sip of water. And <clears throat> over the three days of what we do at the Arm Success Now events is we teach you how to unwind and disconnect those things that are sitting inside your container so you can get free from those so that when you are in any situation 
where you need to think differently, change the paradigm, change the thought, change the energy, change the dynamic, you want to do this. And you're going to take your right hand. I'm teaching you the actual technique right now. So one of the things, one of the reasons I teach the actual techniques is I used to be frustrated listening to other teleseminars and what I wasn't getting. So I was like, well, I'm just going to teach people what I really do. And that way, you know, I'm really giving and being of service. So I hope this, I hope you really understand this is a real technique and you use it and you want to use it every day. So you're going to raise your right hand and you're going to imagine that you have, like Luke Skywalker, you're going to imagine that you have a lightsaber in your hand. And with that lightsaber, what you're going to do is disconnect those thoughts that are sitting around in your car, in your vehicle, in your container. You're going to disconnect those ones that are the deepest, the darkest, and the most frustrating to you. And how you do this is as you take your right hand, you raise it above your head, and in the front of your body, you cut in front of you all the way down to your feet, and you go cut, cut. Cuts, like they're being totally cut away out of the car, and they're, you have the windows down, and they're being let out into a lighter, brighter universe, and they're disintegrating. So cut, 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 and that's called cutting the cord. You may have heard people say this, oh, just cut the cord. Well, here's the really interesting thing. Our brains don't know how to do that. Because we haven't learned a technology. And the technology pieces that I teach are simple, productive, and you'll get a result. So I'll give you a couple of examples of how this has worked for me and a couple of my clients. I was sitting in a meeting. It was We were about to close a $10.9 million deal. And it started to get, as you have seen other sales conversations in your own lives go, it started to get a little weird. And I started to go with that weirdness. And you know how sales conversations go in situations where there's a lot of money involved and a lot of negotiating. And sometimes we take ourselves down that path and lose the sale. So I sat at the table and I did this cut, cut, cut thing, not in such a big, obvious way. And we teach some of the less obvious ways at the I'm Success Now event, um, which is in May. And uh, I did that again and again and again. And the negotiation continued, and the negotiation continued, and then we were able to close and sign the contract when, in fact, we were about to lose the contract because of some, I call it wonky energy, some energy that was just, nobody could really language it. It was just something that didn't feel right that was in the room. You've all felt it, and it's usually something that you think is like, okay, I don't have any control over it. I have no influence over it. And the cutting of the cord actually gives you the ability to disconnect and allow your emotions not to go into the wonky, weird thoughts of, oh, my God, what if we don't have the right package, et cetera, et cetera. So now I'm going to give you an example of a client. This is a particular client who um, he came to me with a failing business and, a sh- and shoulder pain. It just was pervasive. It just wouldn't go away. Everybody tried everything. He'd gone to every doctor, tried everything. Gets to me. We solved the problem with the, with the shoulder in a very short amount of time. And here's what the shoulder was connected to. And maybe you guys can relate to some of this. The shoulder problem was connected to his business that was failing because the Federal Trade Commission was suing him for everything he had. So he was about to lose $5.8 million. And he was about to lose his home and everything. So I taught him this technique, and he had to go and sit in front of the Federal Trade Commission, uh, the commission folks, every week for several months. And he'd go, and he'd sit in front of them, and he would do this cord-cutting technique. And after several months, they started having a better dialogue, figuring out how they could come up with the solution, which was completely not possible and very few people usually get off of. He ended up with a $180,000 payment instead of the $5 million. 
And he, he is now one of the people that they go to to solicit advice. So he's not a formal advisor, but he has now become an advisor of sorts to the Federal Trade Commission just from this one tiny technique. Did I coach him in the meantime for other things and growing his business? Yes. And today he has a $50 million business from negative $5 million. So these techniques are real and help you get out of Poopyville and clean out your car that's full of clutter, of all of the stuff that you've been carrying around. So cord cutting, very, very, very simple, very, very, very important. And if you're sitting up straight with when you're doing it, you actually are able to create a quicker result. So um, – when we, te- when we teach in the I'm Success Now events, um, what I teach is how to feel this stuff in your hands. That's why you'll see my marketing stuff is, you know, you can change your life with what's in your hands. You really literally can because if you just look what we just taught you, the cord cutting technique um, is through your hands, and it's not something that you pick up. It's not something that you need to use a device for, you have it in your hands at any time, no matter where you are, and people won't notice that you're cutting your cords unless they've taken my courses, and then they'll just say, hey, I know what you're doing, which is kind of cute. And um, just so this for guys and and women, don't do this in front of your partner because they're going to know that you're cutting their cords, and that's just not going to (laughs) work. So there's another technique for that. (laughs) So... Don't cut off your spouse because they're going to only get pissed off. So let me just give you the forewarning on that one. Um, Had a lot of people try that. Don't do that. Um, So I want to make sure you understand this. You can never cut away goodness or love. You can only cut away the poopy bill. It's really important for your brains to understand this because people are like, oh, my God, I'm not going to do this because I might disrupt something. No, you're only going to disrupt the things that are already causing harm to you or are disrupting your life currently, whether it's a physical disruption, a mental disruption, an emotional disruption, um, a financial disruption, um, or even a spiritual disruption because, you know, we all have those, okay? I hope this is making sense to you. Write this down, cutting the cords. And uh, you're on the list. I'll make sure that you guys get the video. But when we teach this at the event, I actually have different layers to this so that you can take this out into any situation and you can apply it so that you have something simple and powerful and can shift you on a dime. It will take you out of anger or fear or resentment or jealousy or rage. It will take you out of it on a dime. I guarantee it. Okay. Um, so I want to tell you about a, a another process. Uh, the thing that you end up, that many of us have ended up in, the bright, shiny object syndrome. So everybody's got it. We have social media. We have phones and computers and iPads and baby iPads and cars that talk. And we have Google Glasses and we've got stuff, right? Now, <laughs> with bright, shiny object syndrome, There's this really interesting thing that happens in our businesses. We decide, kind of like what Greg was saying, that we need another strategy or tactic. And the challenge is you go into an environment thinking that you're going to shift, but you get another strategy and tactic. And so that's a getting too many systems syndrome. That's the I need one more thing to learn syndrome. And here's the truth, guys. The cutting of the cords I told you, it is the most powerful tool that you'll use energetically. I'm going to teach you three more, I promise. Um, But it is one of the things that you must do to set the energetics right so that your current strategies and tactics that you've already learned and your own brilliance can go out there into the world and really achieve the results and goals that you have been wanting to achieve. So we all have missions and visions and purposes and um, and our, our what we're here to do from our soul's purpose or soul's calling or our financial mission. We all have these. Every single one of us has these. 
whether you're on the track or off the track, you can get into the midline and change the system that you already have by changing the energy. So, bright shiny object system syndrome we're going to talk about right now. I'll give you an example of a client so you kind of get the breath of, of how this really changed her life. Uh, beautiful woman, really driven, very high success achiever, has her own, um, I'm just going to say healthcare practice, so I don't give too many details away. And she makes an awesome income, and she is totally caught up until she met me. She's totally caught up in the, oh, I need another system. I need to know how to coach like this. I need this, um, I need this person to teach me how Facebook marketing works. I need this in order to achieve that. I need that in order. She had, the other day, she mentioned to me, before she started working with me, she had 10 systems that she was trying to learn. Business and strategies and tactics and marketing and positioning and speaking and so on and so forth. As we took away those systems, what she's actually been able to accomplish by really focusing on the energetics and her core midline issue and cutting of the cords of the things that are not serving her highest and best good, she actually is going to sell her practice for double what it was valued at. And she never thought that that was possible. And she's going to be the coach of the person who is coming into her practice. So the people that you're looking to learn from, you want to think about what their resonance is. You already have an intuition. And the first thing our brain does, our conscious brain says, oh, no, you know what, I'm just going to go and I'm going to learn one more thing. And then you come away, and then you spend a couple days feeling raw rod, and then what you end up with is you end up with a little deflated, and then you end up not taking action on what you need to take action on because you're over-systematized. And the challenge with that is you create conflicts in your value system. You put your value system in your left hand. And in the energetics of possibility that you're holding for where you're looking to go. So your left hand is your value system. Your right hand are the energetics of where you know you're supposed to go. So her left hand was her value system of, I need more information in order to be effective, in order to be respected, in order to have my name out there in a big way. And her right hand mission goal was to sell her practice for uh, it was valued at three hundred thousand dollars and she's going to sell it for slightly more than triple slightly more than double uh, she's going to sell it for about eight hundred and fifty thousand dollars okay in addition to getting her other income so we took her value system of i need more to cleaning that away and really getting her focused on what her true, true objective was, clearing away the clutter of too many systems, strategies, and tactics. And now she's in a position where she's going to sell that. So real results happen when you work from the inside out. A lot of people have talked about it, but when you actually start, start talking about the energetics and the cord cutting and looking from the left hand to the right hand of the value system, you can feel the energetics, if you're a little sensitive, and I know some of you are, um, you can feel the energetics of the value system, and I need more stuff, learning, strategies, tactics, business training, speaking training, whatever that is, in the left hand, and tell me what that feels like, right? And then in the right hand, where you're supposed to be, your end, true end objective. And we take you through more of this in, in, the, in the weekend, but this will get you to understand where you're out of integrity energetically. So your mind's going, no, I don't feel anything. That's fine. I didn't feel anything in the beginning. However, what it really feels like, I'm going to tell you what it feels like, at least in my hand, is in the left hand it feels like, concrete. It totally feels like concrete. 
In the right hand, it feels buoyantly uh, neutral, not incredibly super light and bright and airy and fairy, because I'm not really into that. It's really about, it's more buoyant, and it's neutral. Okay, so energy doesn't have to be for the airy fairy. It really is every part of what you do and see and interact with in the world. It's just about learning the nuances of how to take specifics like these tiny things that I'm giving you, which are actually giant results-oriented processes, um, and taking them out into your real world. Okay, so really you can take that out, teach this to your kids, you can teach this all over the place, and just really start validating this. So at the I Am Success Now event, which is May 8th, 9th, 10th, and 11th, um, what I'm going to make sure I teach you how to do is do this, do more techniques on how to get out of your bright, shiny object system syndrome and bright, shiny object syndrome, periodly, and how to really get back in your body and get in alliance with your uh, midline. So when you're in the aligned midline, what you end up with is results. And the way it looks in your day is you put on your best dress, you put on your best suit, you put on your best tie, you put on your best jeans, whatever it is, your best that make you feel awesome, right? Um, if you're in, you're able to get into your midline every day and feel like that, you're dressed in your best stuff every day energetically, you will do more have better results and feel better and have better interactions with your family, your friends, your loved ones. And if your family, your friends, and your loved ones are more on your side, then you're actually going to have that much more success in your life. So I hope this is kind of making sense as to you cut the cords and we teach a few more things at the I Am Success Now event. And I'm going to give you a link to make sure you know how to get there because uh, uh, we'll make sure we give you an offer for this. It's Siobhan Moran, S-H-E-E-V-A-U-N-M-O-R-A-N.com forward slash success now. We want success right now, so it's success now. S-U-C-C-E-S-S-N-O-W. Um, so stick with me. I have a couple more things to teach you. And... Um, one of the things I make sure I do is I work with you in experiential settings. So when you come into the event, and I've been doing this for 20 years, when you come into the event, I make sure you have an experience so that you take it home and you use these without much thought. So what I discovered is that when I would go to other people's events, I'd be like, well, but I want to learn it now. I want to know it now. I don't want to have to wait and learn and take something else in order to get that information. No. So I take you through the process right now on the call, and I take you through deeper processes in the room so that when you walk away, like this woman said at one of, her, one of the events last year, she said, I, have gone, I go to events all the time. I feel exhausted. I always eat sugar. I always have a lot of coffee. Your event is the only time, the only event I've ever been to where I'm not eating sugar and junk, I'm sleeping better, and I'm not having to drink coffee in order to stay awake. So I think that's a good thing. Um, so let me teach you this other technique. When you're in a situation where you have bright shiny object syndrome and you get out of your body, there's this amazing technique that I taught somebody who has ADD, serious ADD, okay? So remember when your eyes were, you know, whenever you were a kid and you were trying to cross your eyes? Well, there's this thing that's the tip of your nose, and I want you to take your left finger, and I want you to touch the tip of your nose, with your left fingertip, and I want you just to bounce on there a few moments. And what that does is that takes your all of your awareness out into the gotta, 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 I need more, oh, my God, I'm not going to do this, I don't have enough time to do that. You've all said it. Um, takes your awareness and brings you back to the moment and focuses you right here. It takes you and helps you create a result and stay in the present now. A lot of teachers about how to stay in the now, stay in the now, stay in the now. I always was like, well, no, how you stay in the now is you have to bring your awareness into the now so that you can achieve that objective, okay? And when you stay in the now, 
you actually stay in that place of the midline, stay in your best, highest place so that you can achieve that goal and objective. So some of the things that, that you may be saying to yourself are, right, this is just that woo-woo stuff, it's just some more of that, you know, some of that, you know, crazy stuff, you know, some more of that um, – uh, secret stuff? No. These are actually strategies and tactics. I've been teaching for 20 years and they totally work. I challenge you to do them now. I challenge, I'm going to challenge you in the room to do them and stick with me and really enjoy the process. Okay. Um, so if you're around people, have you ever been around people who are Debbie Downers? Right. Or, um, you know, they suck the life out of you and you just walk away and think, oh, my God, those people, right? And we all have those in our businesses. Or we've hired somebody like that in the past. Or we have friends who are like that with us. And those people are actually the people that take away that what I call the good juju, all of that good energy, that good momentum, all of those things that keep us out of having the vehicle, the car, full of all of those negative thoughts. So every time, and, and you'll see this, every time you start thinking positive, things are going in the right direction, then all of a sudden you'll interact with one of these people, and this is your unconscious actually going out and roping other people in to getting you sucked back into your place of comfort and safety and not taking the risk so that you can achieve the goal and objective that you totally, truly are meant and are needing to achieve, whether it's a physical or financial goal. So if you're stuck somewhere, your energetics have set you up, your vehicle of energetics have set you up to go back to the place of comfort. No, it's okay. What she's saying, you know what, that really is just, that's for somebody else. Yeah, no, you know what? I couldn't do those. Those are, that's too weird. I have to let you understand that I came from all of this learning through not understanding how energy worked and knowing that I could get a result in particular ways. And if I can do it and I didn't know how it worked, I keep myself healthy. My body's been healthy for the past 20 years using all of the techniques, and my business continues to grow again and again and again. And when I help people um, at the I Am Success Now event, I take you through so you can see where the income opportunities are and see where the poopy energy, like in your container, is held and how to get out of that instantaneously, like the cord cutting, like the tip of the tongue on the nose, okay? So um, the program that we put together for you is amazing. And I did this for Greg because he has, you know, he's so driven and he's so motivated. And he was one of my best, uh, one of my best students to just be like, okay, I'll do that. And so what we put together is a $397, $397 program. And it's a $2,000 ticket. It's a $1997 ticket. And you can go to Siobhan Moran, S-H-E-E-V-A-U-N-M-O-R-A-N.com forward slash success now, okay? And then we have some other bonuses that I want to make sure if you haven't already gone to the link. Um, and, of course, you know, we're going to make sure that you have the opportunity to be in the room and set the energy up. And here's something that I have found works uh, for uh, for my I Am Success Now event is I give you things to get you started today so that by the time you walk in the room, you're actually ready to be up-leveled and we can teach even higher uh, higher things and more uh, more tools and techniques. I have thousands of them and it's really about how can I help serve you for you to get to your goal, objective, desire in a new way. Yep, this is a little new way. It is subtle. I get it. But the results aren't so subtle. The results are real. And when you work with energy, and you see Einstein said this, when you work with energy, you actually get a new result. You're not thinking in the same way. You can't because you've changed the container so much that there's no way to think in the same old way. It's impossible. Okay? 
So don't change your strategy. Don't change your tactic. Change what's going on inside of you. Profits come from the inside out. Some of the greatest teachers on the planet have said that, but they have to come from the energetics. And it's not just think differently. When you use your hands and you have clarity and you feel like you're in your best day ever and you have more of those feelings of your best day ever, you have more energy. You have more clarity. You have the ability to think outside of the box and come up with solutions faster, right? And who doesn't want a faster solution to what's happening in their world? So if you're using social media and somebody is, I don't know, just, you know, they're ranting. They're in a negative rant. Turn off their feed, right? That's really being the master of your energy, right? Because if you change the energy that you are involved with and that you interact with, and they say the sum of your success is the sum of the people who you surround yourself with, well, I'm going to take that slightly further and say the sum of your success is the sum of the energetics and how those people hold their value system. They deal with their energy. They deal with their thoughts. They deal with their emotions. And they deal with consistency. And when you're in the energetics of somebody who has um, good thoughts, good energy, consistency, you can feel it. I've heard everybody talk about it before. Energy was an okay word to speak about, right? You've said it. So I hope this inspires you. I want to. I have one more tool I want to share with you. Um, I hope this inspires you to go to SiobhanMoran.com uh, forward slash success now. And um, Greg's going to be there and uh, his son's going to be there. We're going to have a bunch of other entrepreneurs who are really, really wanting that new way of being, doing, and having. And that's kind of the, where we're at and the, and the planet, right? So when you go and you just hit click and you say, yep, I'm in, I'm ready to go, it's being held in Scottsdale, Arizona at a beautiful resort. And rather than a um, $1997 ticket, we give it to you for $397. And I wanted to make sure that you have enough of an incentive to be like, yeah, I'm going to get off my little bum and I'm going to go over there. I'm going to see what the heck she's talking about because I want a result. I need, I need something new. I need something fresh. I need to think differently. I need to be around people who are kind of like really ready for something new, who are having conversations about the consciousness that they're doing, giving back to the planet. The people in the room are people who are doing good in the world and know how to have an awesome income. That's the key thing. You get to have an awesome income and do good in the world. You don't have to have one or the other. You can have an awesome income, have health, and do good in the world. So let me give you another um, another uh, client example. So I'm all about no surprises. I'm really about making sure that you have a formula, that you know how the sales conversations go, that I'm really just, I am what I am. When you meet me in the street, this is the way I am. This is how I talk to everyone. And, uh, you know, anybody who's ever worked with me will, like, will say, yep, she's, she's the same. This is who she is. I'm about giving and sharing so that you can give and share so that you can take your brilliance out into the world. When you expand your field, you expand your consciousness, you expand who you are and what you do, and you really take yourself out of what you've been doing, you have the opportunity to do is you have an opportunity to get that result, that new result, in a way that is actually more simplified. And I'm going to give you a client example who you who came to our I Am Success Now May event last year. And I, I like to follow up with everybody and see how they're doing. I really like people to use my techniques because that means they're going to get the results. And he said, oh, my God, I have been so wanting to send you an email. I'm so glad you called thinking, okay, great, I must have done something wrong. You must be in trouble. And he said, no, you don't understand. He said, when I left your event, I was working for my dad, and I never wanted to work there. It was 28 years, and I quit. 
And I decided that I was going to pursue my dream, and he has a technology that actually helps the body uh, helps the body facilitate better healing. It's it's an it's for high performance athletes, and he has been wanting to get it out there and wanting to get it out there. So he quit his job with his dad. He gave up that income, and he put his focus on the tech, some of the techniques I gave you, and then the ones we taught at the event, and. He now has uh, contracts with several of the major uh, major athletic corporations, like in San Diego. There's a, um, there's a team. I'm not really up on these things, but anyway, he has he has contracts with a lot of the major athletic organizations for their athletes to come into his center and get rehabilitated. And he's been so busy with the news and the media and so on and so forth that he wasn't able to reach out. So that's a really cool success story. I was weeping at the end. What an awesome opportunity to shift his energetics of something he'd been wanting for years, and he could never make it prosper. He could never see the dollars in the door, and he could never, never felt like he had enough energy. So now he has more energy, he's more aligned, and he really has achieved results. And he got those when he came to our I Am Success Now event last May. So our our event this year is May 8th, 9th, 10th, and 11th. It's 8th in the evening, and we start you off with some teachings and, and a great big celebration because energy doesn't flow when you're tense and intense. And trust me, I knew that because when I was in corporate, I was very tense and intense, and it flew and flowed well, but now that I have that midline and I get to share that with you, it actually flows more effortlessly and fluidly. So uh, it's in Scottsdale, Arizona, and uh, it's for three and a half days, and we're going to teach you how to really up-level and find out when your marketing actually doesn't scan right. There's actually an energetic that we talk about and teach right in the room there about your marketing. We're going to have you bring cards and stuff like that. I'm going to have you feel it so you can understand and distinguish the difference between stuff that works for you and stuff that doesn't. We've had a couple of clients change their marketing just based upon this one technique. It's really fascinating. Um, I'm going to share with you how uh, to get out of that brain drain. You know, you sit at your computer and your brain's just sucked dry. I'm going to teach you this technique, which actually energizes your brain and actually gets you back into that midline very quick. And it takes you two minutes. You actually were to stand up and it takes you two minutes. Um, so go to and, and click on this. Go to SiobhanMoran.com forward slash success now. And what we did is we put a couple bonuses together just for Greg's group. And we have a DVD recording that is usually a valued thing because everybody wants to know all of the, I give all kinds of cool tools and templates and techniques and things like that. And I shape it to you who are in the room. So I actually kind of know about you before you walk in the room and I create something for you. So we're going to give you recording of that entire event. And we're going to give you this book so that you can walk in the door with a better energetic before before the event, and it's called Overcome the Seven Energies That Zap Your Life. And this is a cool book, and I don't hold anything back about how you get sucked into energies that suck the life force out of you and how to get back into your positive energetics, and that's a $49 value. And then we're actually going to give you time with one of my senior coaches. And that alone, because they have worked with me and I've taught them my energetic tools and principles and techniques, they're going to help you shift before you walk in the door. So I hope you've seen that I've given you a lot of value. Use the cord cutting. Use the nose, tip on tip of the tongue, or tip of the left finger on the tip of the nose. Um, make sure that you really focus. Focus on the fact that you have an opportunity versus a value set. So value and what you're really looking for in your left hand and what you're really looking for in your right hand, really start to identify that chasm in between is actually where all of that conflict and space gets to be filled with doubt and worry and fear and anxiety and tension and stress. And when you don't fill that chasm up with the proper 
energy, you actually end up in doubt, fear, worry, confusion, chaos, conflict. You end up with a very, very problematic system and a strategy and a tactic. And when you start cleaning those up, which we spend three days doing, start cleaning those up, what you end up with is you end up with much more ease and grace and success. And for every person I've ever spoken to over the past 20 years, the highest thing that everyone has asked for is they wanted more. More ease, more grace, more abundance, more success, more freedom, more um, more ability to really live on purpose. These are the things I've heard. And unless you fill in that, that gap between the left hand and the right hand with proper energetics, you end up in Poopyville really, really easily. Um, uh, so make sure you go to the link, SiobhanMoran.com forward slash success now. And, again, we put it at 97. That's, is, you know, I mean, that's like a steal of a deal. I wanted to make sure you had no barriers, no holds barred getting in the door and really achieving the goals and the objectives and desires in a new way and have the energy, if you can tell I have a lot of energy, have the energy to do it and really achieve it, like, instantly. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, make sure you reach out, but really go and click on the link and click here to start today, and we'll see you in the room. I want to see you in the room in Scottsdale. I mean, Greg's going to be there, his son's going to be there, and I love I love their systems and what they've put together. And um, those people who take action are those people who get the rewards. Energy always works in these two ways. You make a decision and you take action. You make a decision and you take action. When you make a decision and you don't take action, it actually creates an upside-down energetic. When you make a decision and say, yep, that's right for me, I need to do that, and you take action, you actually end up with the result that much more quickly. So remember this, decision, action, decision, action, decision, action. That's my mantra for you. And my decision to get you to take action is to invite you to come and click on SiobhanMoran.com forward slash success now and uh, get it at 397. I can't wait until we're there. Do you have any questions, Greg? Yeah, no, I wanted to comment because I'm listening to you and I'm doing the stuff and, 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 I'm, and I'm taking some more notes and I'm like, it was like a good refresher course for me, right? And I'm like, I just love it. Your spirit is so sweet and you really want to do good for people. And what you just said really hit a home with me. It's like, no, like if you're sitting there and you're listening to this call and you listen to this stuff, you got that little voice inside you, that little intuition that's telling you, you, you really want to do this and you really see this is good for you and you don't take action, it's got, it like has the opposite effect on you, right? It's like totally. it's, it's, a, it's a negative energy. And then again, yeah. I can't emphasize so much that this is for if – if you feel stuck in any part of your life and you're stuck and you're stuck in your business, you're stuck in your personal relationships, you're stuck, this can help you in any part of your life and it's different and it's like the subtleties and it's like no, no matter how good I am at marketing and marketing tactics, if I don't, if I have that cloudy brain and I have that, I have that clutter and I don't have that clarity, I cannot accomplish and be as effective as I can when I'm outside. When I'm, when I have that clarity and I'm, the brain is clear and I have that energy, and that's what Siobhan is the foremost expert at in this country that I've ever met. I mean, there's a lot of people, a lot of gurus and people who know me go. I spend a lot of money going to events on my personal development. And I believe that's what's attributed to my success is I really believe that if you're not learning and you're not, and you're not growing, you're going backwards. In this day and age, life's moving fast. You need to grow. But this is a different event that you have a chance to go with and be with like-minded people, get through this break, get these things, get unstuck, and, and then go home and see how your life and your business and your, everything you're doing is changing. So I want to see you guys there. I want to see you in Arizona with us. I want you to come and be there. Click on the link. And you know what? If, you go, if you're listening to this and you want to ask me some questions, you want to get me on the phone personally, go to my Facebook page. You, know, you have my email address. You can email me. I, I do a lot of emails. People have my emails, my Facebook. Ping me, private message me, call my office. I'd be more than happy to talk to you and share with you my personal experience. I know that Siobhan purposefully didn't use my examples on tonight's call because maybe she didn't want to hear it. <laughs> 
But I went through this, and I know what she's talking about, and it's, it's something that, like I said, if you're feeling if, – and, again, I love that. You know, take action, make a decision, and take action. And the people that do that, they move forward, they move ahead, and they have results. And that's what this is all about. So I want to say thank yeah. you. You're awesome. Aw, yeah. thank you. I want to show you. I want to show you something, cause, just because you do that, because you, cause you really understood the decision action. So I want to explain the decision action energy, just so you get it, like at a really visceral level. So when you make a decision, it actually creates this thing, this like bridge to the end result that you so know that you want. And then when you don't take action, it act, here's the funny thing that it does. Energetically, it actually goes back inside of you and it almost like slings you back, kind of like you get hit on the head and you have to kind of fall backwards. And that's what the energetic slingshot does of, of, um, cause I study all this, so this is like really intriguing for my brain. Um, of like when you don't take action after you've made a decision, you actually kind of get hit over the head and it kind of sucks. So I've stayed in this decision action thing because I've seen what that does. I'm like, oh, no, i got to take action, like, right away. <laughs> Very cool. Very cool. So thank you. It. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Very cool. I'll give you the link again, um, and then and then we'll uh, we'll part company for now until I see you in Arizona. I'm excited. So Siobhan Moran, you spell it S-H-E-E-V-A-U-N-M-O-R-A-N.com forward slash success now, S-U-C-C-E-S-S-N-O-W. So can't wait to hear about all the results you got. Can't wait to see you all there and appreciate you, Greg, and really sharing this. And uh, I love that you use these and you, you took the refresher course here today. Thank you. <laughs> I love it. No, thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. We appreciate it. Bye. Bye-bye.